Well, hello there, good night again. So, this now will be my review for episode 11 of the series Gifu Dodo Kanetsuguto Kenji, title Audience of the Ruler. So, uh, well, basically, this is the, I think, the first half of the, the two part episode about uh, the meeting between uh, Toyotomi Dayashi and other uh, noble lords of Japan uh, that were summoned to Kyoto by Hideyoshi uh, and he also summoned uh, Naoe Kanetsugu and Maeda Kenji because uh, he wants to hear their war stories on the conquest of Sato and the finish of the civil war in Sago that Dured for several generations. So, and like we did see on the previous episodes, there was a situation because neither Naoi Kanetsugu or Maeda Kenji wished to meet Hideyoshi, and we also learned that at some point in the past Hideyoshi did try to make uh, Naoi Kanetsugu his own vassal, but he refused and he was kind of bad. Uh, by Wesley Kagekatsu and that's it's present presented as one of the reasons why Hideyoshi hates uh, Wesley Kagekatsu and intends to take over the province of Eshigo and besides that point we also have the situation with Maeda Toshi and Maeda Kenshi that is the nephew of Toshi and they are not in very and basically Maeda Keiji basically was ousted out of the family and is serving in a way the Wezugi but that's kind of uh, interesting and well we kind of have um, the, uh, the arrival of the guests of uh, Hideyoshi the several lords and we also learn like it was already hinted in the last episode, but the old man that we did see being his seat uh, message to us, Tokugawa Ieyasu, that was interesting. Um, and basically, uh, Ishida Mitsunari, it's the guy that is talking with Hideo, she kind of decided to call a um, special samurai to be kind of the guard of Hideyoshi. And according uh, this episode we learn more about the background of Hideyoshi that he was in fact a former ninja in Tamba and such um, well uh, we could say that the early life of Toyotomi Hideyoshi it's not very well known uh, even his background his origins are pretty in a way clouded in a fog and when he became the ruler of Japan as the Kenpaku, he kind of tried to erase some parts of his past uh, or make some changes. So it's it's very hard to know, or even today, the background origins of Toyotomi Deyoshi. There are several hypotheses. Uh, one is presented in the episode. Other is that he was a former a, sol a, f a son of a former soldier a low-ranking soldier, other that he was a monk. There are several hypotheses uh, about the background and uh, the roots of Toyotomi Deyoshi. And basically we have the strategy that they apparently they come together. Now Ikonetsugu kind of goes to the meeting and uh, Hideyoshi kind of congratulates him for the victory in Southern Session says that he will now, from now on, will be the responsible for ruling over Sado he thanks Hideyoshi and says that he will communicate this decision to his lord with the Gagita. and then Hideyoshi becomes rather impatient and wants to meet Maeda Kenji but I don't know exactly what he is using because from the sound it appears that he is kind of using some kind of heavy armor iron clad armor something like that but basically he appears um, in uh, the room with the top knot of the side
sunrise pointing forward to the heaven so that was kinda funny I don't understand exactly what is the meaning of the top knot if it's only inspired by the geisha in the last episode or what, what is the meaning of it so I'm quite curious to see how the meeting will end uh, on next episode so uh, basically that's the episode so this is my review for Gifu Dodo Kanetsuko Tokeiji episode 11 hope you enjoy stay well